Sex education in schools is always a hot topic, and for most kids, well, take a look at this. This picture says it all. Look at that boy's face there in the front row. The Chicago Tribune snapped this picture as kids were watching a presentation in a sex ed class. For years, these classes have involved a field trip off campus, but now with schools strapped for cash, educators are having to get a bit creative and bring the presentation on campus. Well, that's what you get. Now to California, where proposed legislation would require social science lessons to cover contributions by, quote, both men and women, Native Americans, African Americans, Mexican Americans, Asian Americans, Pacific Islanders, European Americans, lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender Americans. That lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender part is the sticking point for most opponents, but supporters of the legislation say it may help in the fight against gay bullying. Senate Bill 48 has passed the state Senate and now goes to the House. And now to Tennessee, where a proposed bill would prevent elementary and middle school teachers from talking about homosexuality to kids in the classroom. The bill has been dubbed the Don't Say Gay Bill. Senate Bill 0049 says, quote, no public elementary or middle school shall provide any instruction or material that discusses sexual orientation other than heterosexuality. The man behind the bill, State Senator Stacey Campfield. The Republican senator from Knoxville tried unsuccessfully for years to get the bill through the House. Now he's trying it in the Senate, and right now he's joining us live. Senator Campfield, first of all, uh, what was your inspiration for this bill? Well, you can look around the nation, you see the things that are happening and, and the different agendas that people are pushing one way or the other. And I've just said, you know, listen, let's leave it up to the families to decide when something is age appropriate, when it isn't age appropriate, when their children are ready to talk about those issues. Let's leave it up to the families to decide how they want to handle that issue. But why, why not be allowed to mention the word homosexuality or talk about homosexuality in school? I mean, do you have research that, that can back this bill up? I mean, is there any damage done? Uh, in terms well, of, of hearing the word homosexuality to children in a controlled setting like a classroom? Well, actually, my bill is neutral. It doesn't say anybody can speak for it or against it. So I'm sure people wouldn't want uh, someone coming out and saying, you know, there are some people who say, you know, we should be preaching against it and saying it's evil, dirty, and wrong. Or some people say, hey, it's it's great, wonderful thing. Uh, I don't think that's appropriate. I think, like I said, I think we need to let the families to decide that. Um, but how, how when, can you say especially it's in the very very young children word. how can you say it's neutral well you're there's not banning no, no the word word heterosexuality you're just banning the word homosexuality the only re yeah the only reason we left heterosexuality in the bill was because you sort of if you're teaching basic reproduction you need uh, to talk about heterosexuality you know XY chromosomes and things like that and how reproduction the bare bones basics of it work otherwise uh, uh, you can't talk about that stuff and, and, and there's no need there's no there's there's no need to to mention homosexuality and reproduction because obviously it doesn't they, homosexuals don't reproduce. But it's not just about reproduction. Well, I mean, sex education in the very young grades, I think that should be basically, if you're going to talk about sex education to very young five, six, seven year olds, I don't see a reason to get into someone's personal sexuality choices. Uh, I just don't see any purpose for that. I don't see any uh, benefit to the children of that other than someone who's got an agenda to push either pro or against. Well, what do you say to those who, who say you have an agenda to push and, and they're calling this bill really flat-out discrimination? Well, it doesn't. My bill is actually saying we're not going to speak for it, we're not going to speak against it, we're going to leave it up to the families to decide, and that's where I think it's best handled, controversial issues like that. <coughs> and as far as getting this bill passed, where does it stand right now? Well, it passed out of uh, Senate Education Committee. Uh, it's going to the Senate floor, I believe, on Thursday and uh, hopefully in the House. And I'm curious what kind of feedback you've been getting uh, from, from people in Tennessee on this. You know, it's been mixed. I mean, I've had some people say, hey, they see what's going on in California, they see what's going on up in the northeastern states, and they don't think it's appropriate. I've had other people on the other side say, oh, you're just... Uh, <laughs> some, some of the comments I'm getting aren't very... Uh, uh, I can't really talk about on what TV because they're so colorful. What are you hearing so from colorful. the gay and lesbian community? They're, they're not too pleased. Uh, they have been... Uh, uh, let's just say vocal and not too kind words. And can you understand that at all? Well, I mean, I think they're, they're mis misunderstanding what it does. I mean, if, if you, you flipped it around on them and said, well, what if a teacher were to say homosexuality is evil or wrong or it's an abomination, would you want a teacher being able to speak about those things? And the ones I've had conversations, civil conversations with, they say, well, no, I wouldn't want that. Well, then, you know, then I guess you would be supportive of something that, that does it. Um, 
and they said, well, I guess I can see where you're coming from. So well, the ones that are reasonable, they seem to be understanding of it. Those that aren't reasonable, you, it's tough to, tough, tough to argue with them yeah, anyway. It's certainly an interesting bill considering that you know kids are certainly curious and I'm sure they're going to have a lot of questions for their teachers. And if that word does come up to have it banned, um, it'd be very interesting to see how a teacher would have to uh, react to that. Well, Senator, my, well, the bill actually talks about, it talks about the curricula and the things that are going to be taught as part of the class, not what some child may bring up and say to a teacher. All right. Well, thank you for your time, and uh, we'll continue to follow uh, where this bill goes. Thank you very much.